Hello and welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd and you are watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. I have some breaking news coming out here for you and I want to bring you an update regarding the war in Gaza and this upcoming invasion of Rafah. So I have some news here that may prove that there's a possibility that the IDF may not go into Rafah here. Okay, so there's numerous things going on. So just yesterday, the UN Security Council approved a resolution to call for an immediate ceasefire in the Gaza Strip. And we are still trying to figure out here whether that is binding or non-binding. I'm kind of seeing mixed reports here on whether it will actually stick and apply to the war in Gaza. But as far as I know, Israel's still doing their thing down in Gaza right now. They have not pulled out or anything like that. So uh, there's still ceasefire talks going on uh, between Hamas and uh, Israel as well. And apparently they have a, still have not been able to come to an agreement here because Hamas wants them to fully pull out of the Gaza Strip. And we also have Yoav Gallant, the defense minister, meeting in the U.S. with uh, St Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin. And uh, they're discussing here what they can do for this operation to happen in inside of Gaza to go into Rafah. And uh, Secretary Lloyd Austin says that they cannot uh, handle any more innocent Palestinians getting killed, that way too many have been killed already. So uh, while this is happening, while Yoav Galan is over here discussing the war over here with Israel, we have some news that IDF Major General, his name is Nimrod Schaefer, he came out in a, uh, like a televised news station, or radio station, excuse me, and he was speaking about this war going on down in Rafa, And he was stating there that basically if the U.S. told them not to go in, that they would not fight in Rafa. Okay, and I put on, on the screen here for you, we did not fight in Rafa, and in my opinion, this opportunity is no longer in our hands. So he believes that because the IDF did not go into Rafa towards the beginning of the war, that they think that they're too late. Okay, he thinks that they're too late and the opportunity is no longer a thing. All right, so, and at the same time, uh, the U.S. is warning that they will put an arms embargo on Israel and limit or potentially uh, remove the opportunity to send supplies to Israel for their war. Because obviously the U.S. is funding this war uh, in, for Israel in the Gaza Strip. So I've got some information here. I want to share this with you on the Jerusalem Post. We're going to go into a little bit more detail to see here whether there is a possibility that uh, the IDF will call off their invasion of Rafah. So, Gallant's Washington trip hopes to stop U.S. arms embargo, senior IDF general says. And it says here, IDF Major General Nimrod Schaefer on 103 FM, Yoav Gallant aims to avert U.S. arms embargo on Israel, notes Rafah operation won't happen if the U.S. says not to do it. So it says here, Defense Minister Yoav Gallant flew to the U.S. to meet with American senior officials regarding the ongoing negotiations for the release of the hostages and re Israel's intention to operate in Rafah. According to IDF Major General Nimrod Schaefer, one of the goals of the visit is to prevent an American arms embargo on is Israel. So that's one of the main reasons why uh, there's uh, Yoav Gallant and several Israeli officials in the U.S. right now trying to prevent this embargo from happening. In a conversation with uh, Udi Segal and Anat Davidov on 103 FM radio, Schaefer added that there is a difference between an embargo and taking certain measures. You can take all kinds of steps, for example, to slow down arms deliveries. Certain items say we are, exa we are examining the request but never arrive. There are all kinds of ways in politics to make it very difficult. On a possible operation in Rafah, Schaefer said, I think that doing an operation in Rafah is the right decision. It's essential and could have been done in the first weeks of the war. The state of Israel chose not to go into Rafah because there were no real plans for the operation and no one wanted to talk about what would happen the day after. We did not fight in Rafah, and in my opinion, this opportunity is no longer in our hands. So basically what he's saying here is that they've lost the opportunity to eliminate Hamas. Okay, he's admitting that. Now, will they actually go through with it in Rafah? We don't know. Because we do know that Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has come out many times and said, no, we are going into, into Rafah. No one is going to stop us, even if the world turns against us. Even if the West or the or U.S. turns against us, we will go into Rafa. Okay, so 
the uh, major general here of the IDF is saying the opposite. What do I mean when I say if the Americans tell us not uh, tell you not to operate in Rafa, we won't fight. We won't operate in Rafa. Maybe we will carry out very small and focused missions, but we won't see anything similar to what happened in the last five months in Gaza if the Americans tell us not to. So he's admitting here again that if the Americans say, <clears throat> excuse me, not to go in, they're not going to go in. Regarding Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's statement that Israel will, will act in, uh, excuse me, will act in Rafah even without American support, he said, "I think it is the same arrogance and recklessness that has brought us to this point." It's embarrassing to hear these statements. If the U.S. opposes an operation by the IDF or uh, State of Israel in Rafah, Israel will not fight in Rafah. To say, despite what you say, with all due respect, we will fight in Rafah. These are words uh, that are mainly meant to please his base and have no grip on reality. The IDF will not fight if the Americans object. If the president tells Israel the same thing he told Iran Hezbollah and others in the Middle East five months ago, we will not fight in Rafa. So he's saying here that basically everything that Netanyahu is saying when he's talking about they're going to go in no matter what, no one's going to stop them, even if there's like a court order for a ceasefire, they will continue. He's basically saying that uh, Netanyahu's words, that he said that they, they have no grip on reality, meaning he's just kind of speaking towards his own base of supporters that that's not something they would actually do. He also referred to the continuation of the fighting in the north, claiming that Israel has no plan to solve the problem with Hezbollah. There is no plan, and if there is one, no one is telling the citizens of Israel about it. If the Israeli government wanted to advance in the north, it would have set up a team months ago and told them, figure out how and when to bring the evacuees back home. Uh, the fact that it has not been done for half a year shows that it, not, it does not want to do it. As frustrating as it sounds, and it is difficult to say, but that is the fact. So, a couple questions here. So, what uh, if they don't go into Rafa here, what's going to happen? Okay, so Netanyahu's come out and said many times that if they don't go into Rafa and they don't eliminate Hamas, Hamas will regrow and attack them again. So, if the U.S. says don't go in, they're just not going to go in, apparently, according to this information, and that will allow... Hamas to uh, regrow again and potentially do this again, should they do it again, we don't know if they would, but let's say they did do it again, then that would obviously be very bad and it'd be very humiliating to Israel for them to let this happen to them again, right? And then there's also the war in um, with Hezbollah in the north. If we think about that front over there on the northern side of Israel, there there's constant chaos there every day. I just saw uh, articles of Hezbollah launching rockets at Israel again, and Israel bombing Hezbollah in Lebanon. So uh, the residents of the north of Israel still cannot go back home at this time, and they eventually have to let these people go back to, to their land in the north, right? So what is Israel going to do? Are they just going to leave the southern side of Israel uh, vulnerable to Hamas again? And then in the north, they're just not going to go after Hezbollah, and then they're going to just leave that that region of the north side of Israel um, completely open. So if you think about it, it's they're, they're definitely in a tough spot here, and I don't think they can go very far, uh, considering that the fact that the U.S. and the world is pushing back against them right now, and uh, it's going to be hard for them to make a, um, a decision and what's the right thing to do here. So let me know what you think down below, though, because uh, obviously there's a lot of unanswered questions here, but this information gives us some insight here to uh, whether Israel actually will go into Rafah or not. Okay, so according to this major general, he said that if the U.S. says no, we will not fight in Rafah. So let me know what you think down below. This is great information. And uh, share your thoughts and opinions and concerns. And if you got something out of this video, please smash the like button. And also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you. And with that, I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in. Everybody take care and God bless. And we'll see you in the next one.